Hello guys and welcome. I hope that you're doing well. My name is UGG King, aka I play 4K, aka I play 8K, aka I play 16K. And during this video, I'm going to demonstrate Mechabellum PC game running with the help of Intel Core i9 9900K that is overclocked to the home safe environment to the maximum settings that can be possible in home safe environment using water cooler AAO 360mm radiator so it's not the average average and NVIDIA Titan RTX video card equipped with 24GB of video RAM this is going to be the world's first Mechabellum game a demonstration in 8K UHD video resolution 8K video resolution benchmark, 8K video resolution gaming, 8K UHD guys. Uh, I searched the YouTube uh, based on April 8, 2024. Today is April 8, 2024. Let me show it to you. Right here. Let me zoom in for you. April 8, 2024. As you can see, almost midnight. Sunday, April 7, 2024, and th this is the brand new game. It's not yet the final version. It's kind of early access. I got this game for four dollars fifty nine cents all the way in the end of 2023. I was lucky. Developers are asking for this game around twelve ninety nine, fourteen dollars. But when you lucky, you can pick up this game for seven ninety nine. Let's say on some sales like a spring sale, summer sale, winter sale, fall sale, seven ninety. Maybe if you're gonna get ultra lock and pick up for the price that I got for fifty nine, totally worth it, hundred percent worth it, and uh, every single penny. But the game also worth every single penny as retail price of fourteen ninety nine. Whatever developers are, are asking, this is kind of brand new game, brand new genre. It's kind of lookish like a real time strategy. It's online, but you can also play single player offline. Uh, without the internet connection, it's possible to play for those who's curious. Or you can play it multiplayer online with some other players. It's kind of a uh, new genre of real-time strategies, but we're going to see more of this type of strategies in real future. It's like real-time strategy, but without building any bases. It's like multiple rounds. Absolutely amazing idea. So let me go ahead and get going, guys. I'm going to show you to in 8K video resolution. So this is basic introduction. Let me go ahead and overclock my Titan RTX. This is my settings today that I'm running. As you can see, we're going to talk a lot about it throughout the this video so I'm going to go ahead and overclock the Titan RTX keep your eye we're gonna increase the pixel fill rate by 10 gigapixels per second through the GPU overclock we're gonna increase the textual fill rate by the GPU overclock by about 30 gigapixels per second and our video RAM overclock will bring additional 120 gigabytes per second bandwidth that we can push as bonus which is unbelievable Titan RTX is equipped with 24 gigabyte of video RAM which is 24,576 megabytes Titan RTX I only have a single video card installed. I have two Titan RTX video cards, but today, right now, during this video, only single NVIDIA Titan RTX video card is installed. Some people saying NVIDIA RTX Titan video card. This is incorrect. You want to call it NVIDIA Titan RTX. This is the proper name. This is how Jensen Yuan, uh, NVIDIA CEO and founder, is calling that. So let me go ahead and overclock it to the home safe environment, stable and safe. Uh, through the software as you can see through MSI Afterburner. Keep in mind that I'm going to have an excellent video tutorial how to overclock Titan RTX video card, how to overclock RTX 2080 Ti video card for mining or for gaming as well how to overclock Intel Core i9 9900K processor Intel 9 generation that I'm using today. So as you can see guys we immediately increase pixel fill rate, textual fill rate and the bandwidth just like i told you please watch this video on 4k uhd video resolution as minimum but switch it to 8k uhd video resolution because i'm recording today this 8k video resolution gameplay in mechabellum game in 8k uhd through the nvidia shadow play nvidia shadow play and my nvidia driver is modified or hacked and it's capable to record even with the old school nvidia Turing gp architecture without av1 codec it's capable to record 8k video resolution in the near future go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel I'm going to share with you how I did it. 
okay as software developer game developer how I modify the NVIDIA driver so as you can see Intel Core 9 generation CPU which is i9 9900k or 9000 series Intel CPU is overclocked from 3.6 gigahertz per each core to 5.1 gigahertz it jumping plus minus 10 megahertz uh, in terms of the air uh, cores eight physical cores 16 logical threads or logical cores because the hyper trading technology brought additional eight logical cores or eight logical threads so it's 16 hyper trading technology is enabled today i'm using the asus maximus 11 here z390 chipset motherboard pc express 3.0 a titan rtx single video card is installed but running 8x instead of 16x 16 lanes i'm not sure why there is no other video cards or any other cards is installed in any other slots pc express i do not have any m dot NVMe SSD installed is doing that. I switched the slots doing that and the BIOS has switched to 16x PC Express 3.0 force but it does it. I'm not sure why. I tried two different Titan RTXs. It does it on this motherboard. There is nothing wrong with this motherboard because I also have Asus Maximus 10 here as Z370 chipset for 8 generation Intel processors or 8000 generation Intel processors and the same thing and same thing with NVIDIA RTX 2000 EDTI video cards I also had two of them okay memory 3200 MHz CL11 the low value is better not CL18 not CL16 not even CL13 CL11 the low value is better 1T command so 1600 MHz times 2 3200 MHz as external frequency effective external frequency the latency of the system RAM DDR4 communication with the processor i9 9900k will be below 44 nanoseconds and as well stands for nanoseconds are the the either 64 cache and memory benchmark so the low value is better megabytes and gigabytes the higher value is better it's a band with how much data it can push per second um, but nanoseconds is communication those components with the uh, other components in terms of the nanoseconds okay so this was the fastest possible DDR4, 5000 mega CL18, but unstable on the Z390 chipset motherboard. I also tried the Gigabyte Z390 chipset motherboard, the same deal, unstable above 3800 MHz with CL16. I'm not sure why. Uh, the reason I think because it's micron technology chips, if you want to run 4000 MHz and above in terms of system M DDR4, you better use the Samsung B die chips installed on your DDR4. And I have installed by the Corsair micron technology chips. Micron technology chips hates the high frequency but loves the low latency, while Samsung B die chips loves the high frequency but hates the low latency. Okay, so pretty much makes sense. I utilize it as best as possible. You would say that I have 32 gigabytes, maybe more than uh, in, enough to keep it stable at about 4,000 megahertz. But no, I have four sticks, eight gigabytes. I try with two sticks, and I try even with one stick. Same story, guys. Trust me. I'm overclocker, over 20 years experience, system engineer, senior system engineer, graphics designer, gamer, 3D animator, 3D artist, game developer, software developer. You know, so I have some experience. Uh, PC hardware enthusiast over 20 years on every single field so this is what's up okay so we utilize it as best as possible as you can see okay Titan RTX right now is overclocked this is how it is 24 gigabyte of video RAM as you can see or 24,000 as we saw 24,000 576 megabytes total but in 8k UHD video resolution the video RAM utilization will be way below of that and um, I think that RTX 2000 EDTI video card that is about by 10% slower than Titan RTX because Titan RTX is a flagship video card for the NVIDIA Turing GP architecture or NVIDIA RTX 20 series video cards while RTX 2000 EDTI video card is almost as good as Titan RTX the same uh, NVIDIA GP architecture which is NVIDIA Turing GP architecture but it has 256 CUDA cores less than Titan RTX because Titan RTX is featuring full NVIDIA TU-102 GPU keep that in mind alright this is how it's scored guys while i 9 k running with hyper trading technology it's scored nine almost 9.2 times scalability on the 16 logical threads this is the best when it comes to Intel 9 generation processors uh, so pretty much about 2.75 times 3 times of logical threads is equal one physical thread so whenever it's possible you better shut down the hyper trading technology if you could squeeze a little bit more frequency 
frequencies by about 200 megahertz higher frequency I advise you to do that but in my case I cannot squeeze 200 megahertz higher frequency on Intel 9 generation processor maximum I can squeeze 5.2 gigahertz per every single core right now I'm running 5.1 gigahertz but it's going to be with hyper trading technology disabled 100 megahertz not gonna make any difference but with hyper trading technology we're pushing a little bit more of bandwidth by hair more so I better stick it with that okay but when we're talking this is multi-thread performance 5500 score same as um, by the bias by the default one is by by motherboard as soon as 390 maximus 11 here overclock running 5 gigahertz but jumping back to 4.7 on the EVX2 instruction in my case I'm running 5.1 gigahertz on external frequency and 5.1 gigahertz on EVX2 instruction frequency any energy the uh, energy saving modes on the CPU disabled in the bias so it's running completely 5.1 gigahertz no matter what plus minus 10 megahertz of the error keep that in mind so it's usually it's running 6000 megahertz but it's getting so hot i'm running 1.395 volts on the cpu to keep it stable otherwise it's not stable and it's overheating uh when it's utilizing all the cores all the threads at 100 percent in about five seconds even when i'm running corsair h150i pro water cooler aeo with 360 millimeter radiator and three fans it's still overheating keep that in mind too much voltage to keep it stable but it's stable so it's running 6000 megahertz but after a couple seconds seconds it slows itself down to 5.8 5.7 5.6 5.5 .5 and stops because the Z, CPU Z benchmark is benchmarking every single core when multi-thread performance benchmark every single core at 100% for about 10 seconds so this is what it is but when we are talking PC games we are looking at the single thread performance we don't care about multi-thread performance do that multi-thread performance is great when we are talking something that we're going to utilize every single core every single thread at 100% in such a scenario such as 3D rendering like 3ds max studio while using the CPU rendering blender uh, 3d application while rendering in 3d while using the CPU renderer cinema 4d application also using a lot of CPU rendering all the way can utilize over 256 threads 256 cores at 100 percent whatever you have on your CPU so this is exactly when you care about multi-thread performance but when we are talking PC games you care about single thread performance the high value is better because it's uh, we, we will never utilize 16 threads at 100 percent not even at 70 percent especially in Mechabellum game keep that that mind or in 99% of the games maximum we can utilize at 70% 75% and 16 threads in today's games in 99% of today's games except the battlefield battlefield can stress it a little bit higher than that all right guys so this part is explained to you pretty well hopefully you like that um, here's the EDA 64 benchmarks for you for those who's curious to compare as again to find out how fast is my system RAM DDR4 versus your system RAM DDR4 or DDR5 or DDR3 you gotta take read write or copy bandwidth megabytes per second or gigabytes per second divided by the latency divided by the nanoseconds latency to find out how much bandwidth per second you can put push per one nanosecond and uh, the high value is better this is one of the fastest DDR4 keep that in mind the fastest scenario otherwise I wouldn't be running it so on the background this is my system as again we are done with the introduction as you can see Corsair H150i Pro with a cooler AEO over there is 360 millimeter radiator that's not showing to you with three Corsair fans on top I put 200 millimeter cooler master fan to cool down the VRMs and cool down the system RAM DDR4 because DDR4 is running 1.6 volts to be able to keep 3200 megahertz CL11 CL11 one T command keep that in mind the low latency is better it's uh, shorting the communication in terms of nanoseconds between the system RAM DDR4 and the processor okay so uh, I put the liquid thermal compound paste by thermal grizzly on my CPU so I repaste the thermal compound paste and I put the thermal compound paste liquid metal by thermal grizzly on the GPU as well as on the video RAM I replace the thermal compound paste with the IC diamond thermal compound paste that has a particles of the synthetic diamond which is the second best after the liquid metal thermal compound paste on the video RAM but still using the dual fan um, Nvidia founders edition cooling system air cooling system on the Titan RTX okay pretty much everything was covered let me go ahead and run Mechabellum I have the steam license total of worth at 459 is like a bargain absolute bargain 
All right, we're gonna execute that. Every single game that I'm recording over ughdking.com, I have the license, keep that in mind. I'm also giving away some prepaid licenses for my subscribers. So this is another reason, guys, why you wanna support my video with the like. I'm explaining everything, as you can see, providing multiple values from all kind of different angles, no matter what kind of industry you're looking, gamer, PC gamer, PC developer, you know, um, PC hardware enthusiast, PC overclocker, everything is provided to you as in a great, easy to follow language and everything is explained. So we're gonna go ahead and try two different visual presets. I'm going to try 8K video resolution, 8K UHD, which is, that's why I am I play 8K. So 7,680 by 4,320 pixels. By the way, guys, I was the, the one of the first YouTubers that showed you 8K UHD all the way back in 2015. Keep that in mind. 8K video resolution in Crisis uh, 3. Uh, I, during that time, I have four Radeon R9 290s. Keep that in mind. Before my four Titan X Max all GP architecture video cards in SLI, in four way SLI in 2016. And in, in 2016, I show you the first ever uh, gameplay of the uh, video uploaded to YouTube in 16K video resolution on my four Titan X Maxwell GP architecture in four way SLI. It was Half Life 2 PC game and 12 gigabyte of video RAM on each Titan X Maxwell GP architecture in 2016 was more than enough. That video is available over uhdking.com, so that's why I play 16K or UHD King because 16K video resolution is the maximum 3D rendering real-time resolution in all kind of open source and commercial APIs. By the way, Mechabellum game supports 16K UHD video resolution rendering in real time. And I'm going to demonstrate it to you. It's going to be 16K video resolution benchmark in Mechabellum available over UHDKing.com. So do not miss it. So this is how, guys, we're going to start it. Maximum visuals without the anti-aliasing and then within the anti-aliasing edX. Okay? 180 FPS, maximum FPS cap because look like the game engine has the FPS cap. So this is the maximum. Maybe we can avoid that in the future, but this is what it is right now. It's not unlocked. Maximum 180 FPS that you can push and after that it's going to be locked. It's going to be capped. You cannot go above that. So the game is absolutely amazing. Let me real quick go ahead and introduce you to the game. So introduction about the hardware is over. Now introduction to uh, to the game a little bit just because uh, for those who's looking to find the information if it worth it or not to purchase this game. Absolutely it is guys. If you're a real time strategy fan, I highly advise you to purchase it. Even if it, this is without the basis, you're gonna love it. It's kind of like a Starcraft-ish, serious look-ish. You're gonna love it, but without the basis. It's I like Starcraft Command and Conquer series because I'm a big fan of Command and Conquer General Starcraft series um, real time strategies. But this is without the basis, but still addictive, still absolutely unbelievable. A lot of people playing it. It's a great strategies and not like in real time strategies with the basis, you can build a lot of tanks and rush with the tanks rush or something like that, or with the units rush. The, throughout this game, is totally strategy. strategy. Cannot do that, and it's like multiple rounds. So you still have some change to to uh, end up as a winner, which is unbelievable. This game has like multiple rounds from five to ten rounds. Ten rounds is the maximum. Keep that mind. So uh, multiplayer, it has the multiplayer as you can see. Multiplayer, you can play one versus one. And they do not pay me, guys. This is my personal review, and I highly recommend this game. This game is scored 5 out of 5 for the best real-time strategies, cartoonish shulkish in 2024. The best real-time strategy in 2024 will be Warner PC game. But Warner PC game is not from 2024, but this one was released in 2024. But Warner PC game is the best. It's like real-time conflict, also without the basis, but unbelievable visuals, unbelievable real-time strategy. But this is the second one. 5 out of 5 for Mechabell and PC game. So uh, you can uh, play 1 versus 1. You can start the server following the rules as you can see. Uh, you can play 2 versus 2 following the rules. Create a room. You can play the survival mode. And you can join uh, somebody when somebody started the server. 1 versus 1, 2 versus 2. And um, like that. See? Survival is kind of co-op co with your friends. 
So it, it's, this is what they have in April 8, 2024. Today is April 8, 2024. And this is after they updated the user interface. Right now they are using the newer user interface. They added three more units that game didn't have before. So if you started to play this, if you play this game in the beginning of 2024, in January, February, uh, you're not going to see those new three units. They just added three units that you cannot uh, buy them, but you can select them as a wild card and use them which is um, unbelievable so and user interface is changed as well in this update as you can see right now on American server for over 500 players uh, and there is multiple servers Asian uh, German uh, Americans all kind of different regions and you can join on you know, in one of those servers without uh, changing you know recreating your nickname which is unbelievable all right so this is what's up about that i already played over months i highly recommend highly enjoying it i already learned the game this game is unbelievable guys it's fast doesn't require hours of play time per, per game it's like maximum like 20 minutes per game you're gonna enjoy usually the rounds goes like 5-10 minutes it's unbelievable not the, a lot all the rounds like 5-10 minutes each round like two minutes something like that it's it's a very very great uh, game so under the solo you can play single player without the internet keep that in mind doesn't require to have an internet uh, on Steam to, to have an internet as well so I have the Steam version license so Commander, uh, Commander Academy you can play that to study the game it has all kind of different tutorials then you can play the survival mode okay under the survival mode it's all kind of different things as well you can learn the game you can also play with your friends as co-op all right then uh, it has the community challenges where you can complete the community challenges to unlock some stuff and uh, get gain some points and gain currency then it has the practice this is one good thing to learn the game as a single player solo game before you can join the multiplayer and play against the other players because they're going to uh, kick your booty pretty fast so it's four different difficulty on artificial intelligence keep in mind that artificial intelligence in Mechabell and PC game is not um, artificial intelligence like deep learning machine learning it's not utilizing any ten Nvidia tensor course or any artificial intelligent course on Apple or AMD or Intel it's still the old school artificial intelligence just like they were doing in 2000 2004 in the old school games hopefully developers will pick up this idea and I believe in 2026 2027 every single game that's going to be released on PC at least or even the mobile devices will be using the artificial intelligence already and um, those type of artificial intelligence will be like chat gpt using the machine learning deep learning the uh, in uh, in video tensor course or artificial intelligent course by apple amd or intel we're gonna or android arm um, we're gonna see it guys in the future but it's not at this level yet in 2024 i predicting as game developer gamer pc hardware enthusiast in 2026 we're gonna see it at least on pc a lot when every single video card will be equipped for about three years old video cards will be already equipped with the artificial intelligence course and will be ready for it and it's going to be nice because the AI artificial intelligence will be adapting to your gameplay so go ahead and dominate an insane couple times and then you can join uh, the multiplayer and play against the players and until you're gonna dominate insane couple times in a row do not do that because you're gonna lose there's also testing ground when you can test your abilities and units and etc on all kind of different maps as you can see five maps available right now so there is also tournament i didn't join this time the tournament as you can see asia european americans and all kind of different tournaments all right that which is nice that they're running unit modification so this is the only units that are available in april 2024 and there is also three more units that they added but you cannot modify them they're not available here those type of units you can select as a wild card so guys i'm just providing to you as preview nice preview for those who's curious to get it or not to get it Okay, I highly recommend to get it and play it in AKHD video resolution. It's amazing, guys. On a big screen, like 80 inches and above, smart TV, you're going to love it. Just like I'm playing it today natively. So let me go ahead and select the unit. Let me go ahead and show it to you how it's looking. Let me select my favorite unit, Overlord. 
This is great unit right here. Um, it's a, all kind of strategic unit. It's kind of air unit, but can shoot the ground targets and air targets. So uh, as you can see, the game per every single unit, per all those units, it has two diff three different levels. Level one, level two, and level three. They can go get to the veteran status, and they you can upgrade them to next level, which is three levels. Okay, total. And uh, you can see per level there is a difference in the attack points and all of this makes sense so level one is red which is the weakest then kind of much more advanced blue level level second and level third is the orange okay there's also can be custom skins to kind of confuse the beginners that you can purchase in in-game currency credits or in real money i'm going to show it to you in a few seconds under the store option so over here you can um, compete you can earn the tech points right here by winning go ahead and read about it I have a lot of those points and then you can unlock some extra abilities and equip up to four abilities per unit but select exactly to your strategic points which is nice so every single unit is not just the same unit it can be all kind of different strategic um, abilities to it added by you for your own strategies which is unbelievable guys this game is unbelievable so this part is explained. A uh, game also has the ability of the replay. Today we're gonna test this replay ability. Uh, what I like about this replay ability that you can record a single player uh, games or multiplayer, which is nice. Some games have only multiplayer, like in real time strategy recording capabilities. This one has recording capabilities. It's not on the video. It's like through through throughout the game engine, so you can replay anytime, and it's going to be rendered in the same quality, just like you played, and you can study your aim you can study yourself you can get the better strategy learn your mistakes which is nice analyzation and also you can use it as a benchmark and benchmark your too bad the game doesn't have a benchmark if developers are watching I would be also creating the benchmark one based on one of the replays or even benchmark where you can select the replay and benchmark it it's a nice to have okay so today we're gonna test this replay capabilities but before let me show you some more abilities so there is a community where you can learn a lot join some other players uh, talk to the other players which is nice there is also store guys in the store you can use the real money but keep in mind the game is not pay to win so you can use the real money to speed up to boost up and um uh but uh it's not pay to win so you can earn this through your excellent game plays as well but it's going to take you a little bit longer but real money going to boost up the abilities but same abilities can be unlocked later on with the in-game currency not at the same time but later on which is nice i really like the developers did it like that next um this is in-game credit coins as you can see so today i'm probably going to purchase this icon right here animated avatar and i'm going to use it probably it could be all kind of different skins like gold skin um or something or camo skin as well in game currency but those are going to cost like ten thousand thirty thousand a lot of those coins so you got to collect them if you're not planning to invest in any money you just purchase the game and that's it just like me and everything else is going to be based on your skill this is how i'm going to do it so you got to collect you got to be very strategic do not waste your points as you can see my total points right now 1617 but i really like that animated avatar i'm going to purchase it this is all kind of different avatars you can also use your steam avatar as well and every day you can collect there is some mining here 125 a day and i can collect that already 11 mined if you're going to play once a day you can collect it it's going to start mining keep that mind prediction prediction you can also bet on some games while watching them as spectator as a spectator or to bet while you're playing the game itself or by watching your friends playing as a spectator as again uh, you can buy it uh, with in-game currency the tickets and bet and win and uh, uh, you know convert or you can buy them with real money as you can see okay boost up by a lot of those in-game currencies and you can uh, spend on prediction points tickets or on some upgrades like avatars skins and etc right so, and there is also collections as you can see i'm using right now my beautiful avatar on steam right here as stalker one but i already purchased some in the game as you can see all right and uh, th there is also Emojis here. I really like this one to to play like a fool with my opponents right here But I purchased three of them keep that in mind uh, They gave me one for free while I purchased for four dollars fifty nine as contributor on steam when it was the first uh, 
before the final version, the the open access yet, and it's still like an open access, but nothing else will be changed. They're about to go final. With this game, guys, it's worth every single dollar, even at full retail price. But if you like, you can pick up for seven ninety nine as again fall, spring, summer, or winter sales. Check it out, seven ninety nine, the best game out there. You're gonna love it so much. And this game is ready for the mobile devices, handheld devices. I'm gonna show it to you and explain to you why throughout this gameplay. So hopefully, developers are going to go ahead and integrate that. All right. So uh, everything is covered, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start replay, and I'm gonna use the replay as a benchmark. Keep that in mind. And uh, right here under the settings, uh, 8K HD video resolution, frame cap at 180. As you can see, okay, and this is what's up maximum visuals, anti aliasing is out, but then anti aliasing can go to 8x, okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and have a look. I have a special uh, gameplay uh, recorded as replay, which will be with the, some Asian dudes, and right here, this one right here, and it's going to be two versus two. The best way to test your game two versus two, we're going to do it without the anti aliasing maximum visuals in the EKUHD and within the anti aliasing maximum visuals at EKUHD. And this is the best way because two versus two is going to have a double units than uh, one versus one. Keep that in mind. All right. But the game engine is amazing. The game itself is amazing. The way it uh, programmed, developed, and pretty much the FPS will be almost the same as one versus one versus two versus two, but just a little bit higher, which is great optimization by the game developers. Kudo to them, by the way. I'm a big fan. Everything in Machabellum game makes sense. Everything about it is just unbelievable. So let me go ahead and get going guys at the left top corner the data verified we're going to talk a lot about it and every single piece of data value is verified and makes sense self-explanatory but you want to keep your eye at the left top corner we're going to talk a lot about it so i'm going to go ahead and start it guys 8k hd maximum visuals without the anti-aliasing but you don't actually you don't need to have under the 8k hd anti-aliasing at all so two versus two me and some Asian guy versus Ellie and some Asian guy. So this is our cards that we're gonna select wild cards specialist. Uh, every single specialist ha has its own abilities, which also makes sense. Not like in one of those strategies, it's just different avatar and the gameplay is the same. Over here, every single specialist has its own unique abilities, such as uh, some units will be cheaper, more units will be even at zero cost, more units will have less HP or much higher HP or much more damage to it, which is amazing. So right now, I'm placing my units. On the replay, it doesn't show uh, what kind of unit it is when I'm selecting it. Uh, but this is what I do. I'm starting with those things and those things will be sledgehammers There is some upgrade abilities for those things for those abilities Remember uni unit modification at the beginning when I was introduced to you the Mechabellum the menu user interface you can add more to it replace those four with some other abilities that you're gonna decide to use and first you gotta unlock it um, and then use it okay then I, I have the Air light, air, air light, and I have the marksman like a shugun, like a ninja shugun. Japanese, I really like this mech. Nice, nice, nice. You always, when you want to do that, you want to check out where is the opponent. Opponent is right there at the first round. It's okay to lose first three rounds. At the first round, you didn't see where is the opponent. On a replay, we can see where is the opponent, but I didn't see it. After the first round, you can be more strategic because you can see where the start units. Uh, the startup of his unit army will have the position so you can be more strategic here. So first two rounds it's okay to lose guys. I'm sipping uh, Supreme Colombian coffee, it's called Suprema Beans. That I just brew myself, I purchased four big cans, uh, three pounds each, 1.3 kilos each, four of them so over five kilos of the coffee so it looks like it's gonna last me for one year, five, six cup a day which is unbelievable, beautiful coffee, tastes great, it's a premium, so happy about it. So as you can see, our uh, this is, was our teammate, he, he lost. So when the uh, opponent killed the tower, tower slowed down for three, five seconds, the units, they can be frozen or they their damages will be half or one third, and energy can uh, go very quickly while they're under that electroshock, as you saw. So you want to keep those towers safe. So we dominated this round. First round was on us, but it doesn't matter. First three rounds. 
So my opponent uh, on the top and my friend is on the right. Okay, so as you can see what kind of cars they're selecting. Right now I'm using the maximum zoom, but you can rotate the camera, you can zoom in, zoom out. You can also watch the camera from the unit camera, which is on blue. So it's going to be like first person shooter fighting. I'm going to demonstrate it for you guys. But right now, uh, this is the maximum zoom as you can see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to real quick go ahead and speed it up. I'm going to show you the benchmark and then I'm going to show you one one gameplay. I will try to play the opponent multiplayer once and then we're going to play at normal speed. Right now I did 2x speed as you can see on replay. So let's go ahead and have a look. So every single new round you can add more units. Per, per round you can add two units, whatever units that you want. Or with an extra upgrade on the tower right here, you can add right here with this ability. You can add mass recruitment ability for 50 in-game gold credits coins you can add an additional third unit so it's all about the strategy or you can use that to upgrade the unit it's all about strategic uh, point of views here no matter where you're gonna look everything in this game completely makes sense look at this heavy 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 uh, particles and this is real particles it's not like a couple uh, spheres with the sprites it's every single particle is a sprite in here and it's very heavy 29 FPS, but keep in mind this is real-time strategy, and when we are talking real-time strategy, even 20 FPS is more more than playable. It's still comfortable. At 30 FPS, it's very comfortable gameplay. Keep that in mind because it's real-time strategy type of genre of the game. It's not like a first-person shooter, so there is no lag, no stutter. It's running nice. Even it's running nice at 20 FPS. Like all kind of real-time strategy is running nice at 20 FPS. But this is the maximum heaviest scenario. It means that it will never go lower than that. And it usually it's after round six, uh, then it's going to have so many units pull up, round seven and above. And this is after that, whatever the FPS will be at the left top corner. Right now, as you can see, 27 FPS. It will be like that. Every single round, guys, I'm refreshing the average FPS counter just for you because we're gonna decrease a little bit of the FPS. That blue is a blue shield that can protect your units until the enemy will destroy that shield before it can create any damages to the units inside of the shield. So another strategic point. A lot of strategic points here. This is, we're gonna see more games like this guys in the future. And as a game developer, by the way, over UHDKing.com YouTube channel, the official YouTube channel that you're watching this uh, YouTube video right now, hopefully, UHDKing.com, we're gonna develop games together and I'm planning to develop couple games as well as game developer, as gamer myself. So uh, everything in this game makes sense and I believe the uh, game developers are also gamers and they're also playing their game. That's why everything makes sense, completely makes sense. This is one of the best real-time strategies that you you're going to play but unfortunately it's without basis unfortunately but it's great it's still I'm um, real-time strategy with the basis fan like command and conquer Starcraft series by the way more those games are coming out in 8k and 16k UHD video resolution benchmarks over the UHDKing.com but I really love this game highly recommend 5 out of 5 this is the best in 2024 cartoonish real-time strategy with the max it's looking like a shark craft too, as you can see very much. By the way, shark craft is coming out to the HDKing.com after this video, guys, as well. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And as again, you can zoom in. All the way you can zoom in to the camera in the unit to see like first person shooter. But uh, I'm not gonna do it. First of all, we're benchmarking from the maximum zoom out, as you can see. And then I'm gonna do it when I'm. I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate it to you how it's going to look -ish and bring the point that this game is uh, ready for the mobile games, for the handheld devices and hopefully for the Apple iOS iPhones and Apple iOS uh, tablets uh, if it's not through the Apple iOS store but when the Microsoft will introduce Windows 12 that you can install on iPhone or iPad Windows 12 and as well as in Japan on an Android it's ready guys it's going to have more than enough power and the devices are going to be released like in 2022 and more because they're going to have a lot of RAM all what you need to have a lot of RAM as you can see but now it's 13 gigabytes of system and but as again I'm playing crazy resolution keep that 
So the system is running great as you can see guys. We will never stress the system at 50%. So you don't need to have any more than 16 threads. You will never pull up any other um, higher FPS only. You can put the higher FPS only if every single frequency per frequency per of that frequency and uh, that means that the newer generation of the processors running the same frequency going to show higher instruction to clock and higher instruction to four so they can stress out my titan rtx better because right now as you can see but still right now titan rtx is stressed out 99 percent in ak uhd video resolution so it's stressed out almost at 100 percent Maybe with uh, losing about 50 CUDA cores, they're idling because it's 99% versus 100%, sometimes jumping to 98%. But it's still, it's still great as you can see. And uh, utilization of the single Titan RTX is excellent. Keep in mind, as you can see at the left top corner, the data of the resolution and API is, and every single value is pay, pretty much pop up as dynamic. Uh, it's not static, it's updated every single half of the second uh, at the left top corner, that display information system just for you and everything makes sense. But keep in mind, as you can see, it's running DirectX 11 API uh, while rendering in real time this uh, visuals in this game, in this game engine. That means that it, there is a possibility it can support NVIDIA SLI technology. And NVIDIA SLI technology, it means while I can use two video cards that supporting NVIDIA SLI technology and Titan RTX video card is supporting NVIDIA SLI technology so I could use two Titan RTX video cards in SLI and we'll try to run them and there is a possibility that I can do that and if it's going to be supported I'm also going to demonstrate it for you over the hdking.com or over the slirady.com or over the slirady.games.com one of my new projects well, I'm going to utilize multiple video cards and show you all kind of different benchmarks, gameplays with multiple video cards, such as four Titan X Max Old GP Architecture, three Titan X Max Old GP Architecture, two Titan X Max Old GP Architecture, uh, two Titan X Ps, four Titan X Ps, uh, two Titan RTX video card, which is two, two GP Architecture. I'm going to demonstrate. So this game will support SLI. It's a great news because the FPS will be almost double. But as again, even uh, 20 FPS is comfortable in real time strategy. Keep that in mind. When it comes to real time strategy, or when it comes to this particular game that I've developed. Right now, I'm starting without any struggle at the 27 FPS. It's kind of beautiful. As again, it's running 8K UHD video resolution with anti-aliasing as all, but maximum visual which is on below and as you can see the video RAM utilization right now is above 13,000 megabytes but below 14,000 megabytes which is 14 gigabytes a little bit below 14 gigabytes that means that NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti may not run this game in NKVG video resolution due to video RAM overload or just because NVIDIA is a uh, very great developers NVIDIA company has a great developers and uh, they using some system RAM versus the video RAM when you overloading your video RAM there is an option in the bias to click on it not in the bias but in video driver and it's going to slow down the FPS but it still can render it even if you're going to overload your video RAM if you're going to select that type of option so if you're going to select that type of option there's a possibility that you can run on RTX 2000 DTI video card or on any NVIDIA video card that's recording uh, maximum 11 gigabytes or 12 gigabytes of video RAM because video RAM utilization right now without the anti-aliasing is almost 14 gigabytes keep that in mind so to have a healthy video RAM utilization to demonstrate a healthy FPS without any slowdown while offloading some data from a video RAM into the system RAM because system RAM today is uh, 60 times slower than our video RAM system RAM today is 50 gigabytes per second 50,000 megabytes per second as you saw under the ES64 page while the video RAM uh, page might show over 780 gigabytes per second so about 60 times faster video RAM versus the system RAM so your FPS can drop exactly at, at, at the moment uh, of the data which will be uploaded from the video RAM instead of the video RAM into the system RAM by the GPU because you know you're going to overload your video Hopefully guys this makes sense, but it's still vulnerable on in, 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 in NVIDIA video cards, on AMD video cards, in, AMD video cards will be utilizing about 30% less of the video RAM. This is how 
uh, they design the video cards so usually they're utilizing about 40-45% less of the video RAM when it compares to the NVIDIA video cards on the AMD side and you're losing about 30% I'm not sure about the Intel but maybe also Intel will, uh, will be able to run with 11 or 12 gigabytes but AMD Radeon with 12 gigabytes of video RAM will be more than enough here because as again they require about 25 percent less video RAM than video video cards. hopefully guys this makes sense so he calls some um, orbital strike actually I call it an orbital strike <laughs> The nuke is very powerful in this game. So the FPS right now went to 9, 11, 15. It's kind of slow down a little bit. So when it's below 10 FPS, it's already not comfortable gameplay, but still playable, keep that in mind. At least it is bingeable. And one of the purpose of this video is a benchmark, 8K video resolution benchmark. As you can see, we were a winners here. We did a victory. We pulled a victory here. On below we started kind of sleepy but then we kind of dominated them all right so and guys I'm going to upload this replay on YouTube so you can use this replay and you can also test it benchmark it uh, your systems just to have the results as I'm using at maxed out camera go ahead and do it I'm going to include it in the video description or in the comments underneath of this video download it but make sure you're watching it over the official YouTube channel of the UGD King UGDKing.com all right, so um, let's go ahead and improve the settings. I'm going to use the ADX. Here we go, ADX, maximum visuals, 8K UHD video resolution, 7,680 pixels by 4,320 pixels. I'm going to go ahead and reboot the game. I'm not sure how great is the garbage collector that cleaning the system RAM and video RAM in this game engine or in this game. I'm not one of the software developers, game developers that designed this game. So that's why I decided to go ahead and reboot the game just in case to restart the game. So we're going to clean it automatically. That coffee is good, guys. Hopefully, you're sipping some nice healthy drink as well. The best healthy drink will be water with two slices of the lemon or tea for some great ta taste with two slices of the lemon and the honey. Great, great for your house. Or you can do the some coffee. Do not drink garbage coffee. I advise you to drink something like Nescafe or something like premium, premium coffees. Especially if you're gonna purchase them on a super sale, just like I did. So, guys, this is this is our right here. Our presets, maximum visuals, eight times anti-aliasing, 8K video resolution. So, I just rebooted the game. This is going to be a single take. I'm not going to edit this video. I'm going to upload it after I'm going to stop recording. As again, I'm recording in 8K HD video resolution for the best possible visual experience. Please switch in your YouTube player to 8K HD or to 4320p, which is the 8K video resolution in your YouTube player. And you're going to enjoy and watch it on 8K video resolution screen. You're going to see a big difference. So uh, we're going to go ahead and play, replay. And then I'm going to show you, demonstrate you probably a game gameplay and we're gonna be over with this video so let me go ahead and pull it up as again same thing two versus two let's go ahead and have a look I'm going to refresh the average FPS every single round as you already know as again this uh, this benchmark is with updated user interface and they added three units I, I believe there is nothing else will be added to this game except the box will be fixed. So I'm gonna, as you can see, you can rotate the camera and stuff like that. You can zoom in, zoom out, which is beautiful. And then you can watch from the unit view. But first of all, let's go ahead and test it at the maximum, maximum zoom out. Test the FPS kind of on the angle like that, like that. Okay. So let's go ahead, guys, and have a look. Let me refresh the average FPS and yeah, let's go ahead and have a look. <laughs> <coughs> 
So this is the same game as again, and after this benchmark will be done, and I'm going to demonstrate you a little bit on some strategic points. But as again, for more strategies in Mechabellum game by UHDK, it's going to be available over official YouTube channel hdking.com go ahead and check it out because this is one of my favorite games right now it's totally on one of the best games on pc on my list especially when it comes to real-time strategy i highly recommend this just like under the list with the command and conquer starcraft it's already warned me and this is unbelievable as again everything makes sense and i really like the develop what developers are implementing the way they look each the way they're developing everything makes sense so look like they're gamers themselves and uh, yeah they doing a good 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 job 30 fps so pretty much it doesn't matter guys anti-aliasing off or anti-aliasing eight times at the first like five rounds and also in terms of the video ram it's almost the same video ram utilization maybe anti-aliasing doesn't work in 4k hd and above i also tested 4k video resolution 5k video resolution 6k video resolution 7k video resolution 6k video resolution will be apple pro display xdr screen 7k video resolution will be red cinema 7k video resolution uh that company that released the first 8k video resolution camcorders okay the red brain was called uh, then uh, I will try to do 10k video resolution, all kind of different 10k video resolution presets like 16 divided by 9 aspect ratio, all that kind of goodies. Then three different 12k video resolutions and the 16k video resolution will be benchmarked in Mechabellum game over UGDKing.com on this type of system, including the future systems as well. But Titan RTX video card is the world's first video card, gamers video card, that is capable to run. 99% of the games that was released in 2017 and older in 16k video resolution Maybe demonstrate on a single video card not a playable experience, but at least bingeable experience And but this game from 2024 and Titan RTX video card uh, Do that it featured 24 gigabyte of video RAM 24 gigabyte of video RAM is a key point while running games above 8k video resolution keep that in mind and uh, it's also capable to benchmark in 16k video resolution maybe not comfortable playable experience in mechabellum game under 16k video resolution because as you can see 8k video resolution is already low fps but at least it's going to benchmark it in real time and it's going to provide us the first point of data that we can compare as the world's first pioneer video card for the gamers that was released such as titan rtx video card and we can compare this data that i'm going to demonstrate to you guys over the hdking.com through my benchmarks with the future gpus future processors future pc systems future video cards including the handheld devices and mobile devices such as ios iphone ipads and uh, android or um, phones and android or um, tablets in the future under windows 12 so a lot of data is useful no matter what kind of industry you're coming as you can see and i'm looking in the future and uh, uh the the video is covering so many multiple values uh that you can use no matter what kind of industry you're coming from so guys as again don't forget to smash that like button support me with your like subscribe and uh, if you're a Mechabellum fan, I advise you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. We, uh, you're going to discover more games like this. And uh, I'm going to show you some, a lot of gameplay footages in Mechabellum under all kind of different resolutions, under all kind of different systems, video cards, processors. So it's going to be a great video. And also, we're going to discuss the strategies. Be nice over my YouTube channel and I'm going to respect you completely and uh, value as my subscriber. Try to make a sense, try to bring a value to to community and to yourself. This is my goal, to bring a value to community and to myself. This is why this YouTube channel is about. But this YouTube channel, as you can see, not only about the gameplays, about the benchmarks, about the tutorials in uh, Photoshop or tutorials in some uh, 3ds Max, Blender, Cinema 4D. Uh, about the tutorials how to use the artificial intelligence about the tutorials how to develop software how to develop a website how to develop a game all of this will be uh, we will be going through over this youtube channel and you want to subscribe guys if you into the computer science if you into the 
gaming, if you're into the IT, which is information technologies, uh, this YouTube channel will be amazing value for you and you're gonna learn a lot and uh, a lot of skills, a lot of knowledge will be shared with you. in easy to follow language with step-by-step -step instructions as you can see I'm not rushing I'm trying to provide all kind of value I'm trying to explain every single step okay so after round seven or round seven this is where it's going to be a lot of units a lot of particles and uh, yeah a lot of geometry will be rendered in real time and this is where uh, we can use it as a benchmark Forgot to turn down the uh, in-game noise, so hopefully you can hear me pretty well. Yeah, I forgot to turn down the uh, volume. Twenty-seven FPS, so it kind of doesn't matter. The game is pretty well. Optimized, as you can see, it's pretty well optimized. No matter what kind of resolution you're running, or what kind of map you're running, or what kind of settings you're running, it's almost about the same FPS, which is unbelievable. So right now, maximum visuals, 8K HD, with anti-aliasing edX. Hopefully, guys, you can hear me. Hopefully, the sounds is not overlaying over my voice. I forgot to turn it down. As again, after they're gonna shoot the tower, it's gonna paralyze my units. Look like they're going to dominate this round. Yeah, they're winners. I survived, but my opponent died. I really like that you cannot rush it, like, like in a uh, real time strategies with the bases you can build a bunch of things if you know how to do it if you're a very uh, advanced player and dominate the beginner over here it's not that easy over here it's all about the strategies and uh, every single round uh, can turn the uh, scale on the other side pretty quickly and it's all about the strategies and it's all about ideas it's all about intellect i consider the mechabellum game as a modern chess game it's just like modern chess it's unbelievable it's going to bring you some skills some intelligence i highly recommend this game it's going to give you ability to think very quickly and if you're going to play a lot like three five times a day in this game you're going to think like quick you're going to be sharp thinking with a lot of focus ability to think on the fly uh, this is as again i consider this game as a modern chess i highly recommend this game to any gamer it's unbelievable and as again you don't need to invest any money after you're going to purchase this game it's only going to boost up your abilities uh, give you some boost so you don't have to play a lot of games This is the uh, smoke he developed on our uh, teammate and his units kind of confused now they cannot do not exactly see who to attack and kind of confused all kind of different abilities and uh, those abilities coming through the wild cards uh, keep that in mind or through the, some specialists and uh, I'm going to show you the game itself without the replay it's going to make a little bit more sense because on the replay it doesn't show uh, a lot of information like uh, when I'm upgrading the units, why I'm upgrading the units. I will try to demonstrate it for you real quick. I'm going to show you one time game. I'm going to play one versus one because we benchmark two versus two and it's nice to show you one versus one. But the FPS will be almost the same as two versus two, one versus one. It's a great, great. Um, optimized game and the whole game engine that they're using i'm even not sure what kind of game engine that they're using but the approach of this game developers absolutely amazing at every single level and you can see it everything is making sense so it look like we're gonna pull up this round pretty quickly 
So 27 FPS, so it's kind of staying at 30 FPS. Keep in mind that I'm recording this game in 8K HD video resolution while using NVIDIA Shadow Play in real time. So without the recording, go ahead and add 3 FPS to the FPS counter. It's like 2, 3 FPS to be safe, just add 3 FPS. So just to understand without the recording. So it's going to be staying at 30 FPS in 8K HD video resolution, which is unbelievable for the video card that was released in 2018 because NVIDIA Titan RTX video card was released in 2018 as a flagship video card for the NVIDIA GPU generations during that 2018 as a gaming video card. But the same GPU, which is NVIDIA T102 GPU is used on the Quadro RTX 6000 video cards and Quadro RTX 8000 video cards that is the professional video card that costs like $6,000 and $8,000 same, same component, same GPU only the problem is video RAM on the Quadro RTX 8000 video card is 48 gigabytes double video RAM that I'm using today which is nice to have but as again it's kind of hard to squeeze in PC games even under 16K video resolution that 48 gigabyte of video RAM. Only few games can do it. Any other games will 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 be golden with just um, 24 gigabyte of video RAM. For faster GPU that has more CUDA cores, yes, you want to have 48 gigabyte of video RAM. And those type of GPUs, I would assume, I would love to have 48 gigabyte of video RAM on the RTX 3090 Ti video card, and uh, especially on RTX 40 series video cards flagships, such as RTX 4090 video card with 48 gigabyte, you can speed up all of that. NVIDIA CUDA, CUDA cores that is featured on RTX 4090 video card but unfortunately it's also featured 24 gigabytes of video RAM if you want to have 48 gigabytes of video RAM you want to go Quadra but Quadra is like 3, 3x as minimum price on those video cards and they're just the same as those gamer video cards but they're designed for the enterprise clients that with much larger pockets than the gamers it's like big companies same kind of hardware though video ram going to be registered video ram that checking the errors that we will never produce any artifact on screen versus not registered error checking a video ram on the gaming video cards but it doesn't matter in games you're not going to see that at all All right, guys. So we went down a little bit on the FPS, as you saw, a little bit, but still keeping at 27. Sometimes it went like to 19 with the heavy, heavy particles, even a little bit below 19 for a few seconds and so. But it's still keeping at 27 FPS, which is unbelievable. 8K HD video resolution with E times anti-aliasing, maximum visuals. A lot of particles. Right now we saw that particles out of that smoke, and it still was amazing. So round six, so right now it's gonna go so nasty and so heavy. So Typhoon, this is the wildcard units that was added as unique units, you cannot have them. And the Fire Batcher is the second unit and then it's going to be Cyber Tooth, like a mama tank in Command Conquer series, the big tank. So those three units was added uh, in the end of March 2024 and they changed the user interface. For those who played the game in February or January 2024 and not recognizing the game, this is what's up guys. They a little bit changed the icons and added three more units. So this is the Typhoons right here. This is the Cyber Tooth. And uh, the fire units, nobody's selecting the fire units, but those fire units as well. Yeah, nobody has them. Oh, wait a second. Here's the fire unit right here. Fire badger. Okay. So let's go ahead and have a look, guys. Six round right now. A lot of units going on. This is double units that one versus one and uh, by the end of this video as again i'm going to demonstrate one versus one and i'm going to show you the camera not at maxed out camera but i'm going to zoom in a little bit i'm going to show you the camera from the unit camera that inside of the vehicles it's going to be like a first person shooter which is amazing ability for those who like to see some nice battles 
do some uh, kind of films for YouTube, you're gonna enjoy it. Like tribot videos. I really like the developers give uh, that ability to us. And as again, I prepared the average FPS, so it's after this round started. A lot of particles have been on, it's heavy, heavy, heavy. Yeah, we're gonna see more of those kind of uh, strategies, guys, in the future. And I really dig in this type of strategy. I never saw something like this before. R really digging it, and uh, maybe I'm going to be the developer that's going to develop a next game, a real time strategy similar to this. But I'm going to add some more elements because, as a game developer, as a gamer myself, I can see easy how I can add some additional elements that are gonna improve this game to another height. But don't take me wrong, this game is amazing. If you if you like what you see, if you're a real-time strategy fan, even with, within the bases, I highly recommend this game. And hopefully developers of the Metabellum game will introduce this game on the mobile devices, because the game is ready. It's not that complicated, it's showing high FPS. For 720p at least, it's, it, it, it's going to be vulnerable for sure. Even uh, 720p on the old-school devices that was released, 2017, 2018 by Apple or by ARM, uh, but on the newer devices, even it's ready for 1080p. Hopefully, they're going to introduce that video presets and uh, Full HD uh, DLC on the Android and uh, Apple mobile devices, such as iPhones and special iPads. It's ready for the iPad. It's going to be amazing on the iPad. I cannot wait to see the whole user interface, the way they develop everything. It's just ready, guys, for it. So round seven. So this much more heavier round. Uh, you can survive to round ten, but most likely you're going to survive to round round nine. So round seven. This where it's going to be very nasty. A lot of units. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and have a look. I just refreshed the average FPS. That coffee is nice, guys. It's already getting cold. Can I refresh? I brew myself a big chore, and uh, it's ready. So the blue level, as you can see, it's a level second unit. The maximum is the orange level third, and then it can go above level third, but it's going to be very advanced. But it's going to be orange after that. So orange are more advanced units. Blue is the second one and red are basic. So I'm upgrading my units right now. As you can see, they uh, gain some veteran status so I can upgrade them. You're gonna see they're gonna have the arrows, yellow arrows on top of them. The units like that, like those right here, has the yellow arrows so you can upgrade them to the orange one, those crawlers. So all kind of different max, it could be a big base when I'm on, like a huge map. But it's like a base. It's all kind of different max. It's, it's, if you get to the max, this is the game. So you want to see them, you want to come on and command them as a toys. This is guys the game for you to play for sure. A lot of particles, look at that particles, it's still like 24 FPS ever, 22, 23 sometimes. This is great. All kind of different particles, all kind of different effects over here. It's beautiful. Real-time post-processing effects going on. Real-time post-processing filters. Yeah, DirectX 11 API under this game engine supports NVIDIA SLI. It's going to be a good news for a lot of folks out there. Like uh, Max old GP architecture, Pascal GP architecture, or a Turing GP architecture because you can use multiple video cards and you can bring the game to 4K video resolution as minimum, but in 8K video resolution you're going to have enough of video RAM, let's say 12 gigabytes and above, on those Titan X Maxwells or Titan X Ps, Titan X Pascals, video cards that feature 12 gigabytes of video RAM. The power should turn down the audio a little bit of the units. 
Hopefully guys you can see you can still get hear me. I forgot to do that. So Titan Architect's running maximum overclock abilities and still 99% is great, but it's not 100. It's kind of idle and we're a little bit bottleneck to our CPU. So the newer G uh, generation of the CPU, let's say uh, Intel 12 generation of the CPU for sure, will bring the Titan Architect to 100% utilization, uh, even under 8K video resolution. But uh, above 8K video resolution, our Titan Architect will be utilized at 100%, 99-100% without any doubts. Even with this Intel 9 generation CPU, which is the i9 9900K. And by the way, as again, this CPU is overclocked to the maximum abilities to the home safe environment. The faster can be only possible with the LN2 uh, liquid cooling. But as again, that kind of costs like $200 for three hours of fun. And you gotta refill it every 10 minutes. You can clock the CPU to 6 gigahertz, but as again, for $200 value, it's not in home safe environment friendly uh, scenario. So, hopefully, guys, this makes sense. So, this is maximum stable scenario right here for this Intel 9 generation CPU, which is the gamer's flagship Intel processor i9-9900K. But as again, 12 generation 12900K i9 will definitely squeeze the Turing GP architecture Titan RTX flagship video card to its knees every single CUDA course will be squeezed because instruction per clock will be higher and the Intel 12 generation CPU is running at the higher frequencies to begin with but I even if it's going to run the same frequency as my i9 9900K it's going to deliver a higher instruction per clock including the instruction per core and instruction per core is the key um, when it comes to PC games. Instruction per clock on overall cores is the key, how much the bandwidth processor can push, how much it can process in real time is the key for the workstation while every single core, every single thread is utilized at 100%, but for PC gaming on the Intel or AMD processors or even ARM processors, how much it can push instruction per core. that rendering on the same uh, system in real time on the same system in real time beautiful a very heavy particles it's handling 9 fps just like without the mps so we just saw that 9 fps a little bit or like a one second because it was very heavy right there a lot of particles was going to fire all kind of different fires all kind of different effects some of the fire effects like particles and every single particle has its own sprite so it was bringing them in real time all of those details so almost 14,000 megabytes with e times anti-aliasing and uh, for the last level which is round 8 which is this is going to be the average rounds for multiplayer rounds keep that in mind alright guys so this this part was covered now I'm going to show you one versus one gameplay and uh, we're gonna be done with our benchmark so this is going to be the gameplay i'm going to show you a little bit of the gameplay you're going to see some more details to it so i'm going to start one versus one is going to be with a times msa i mean i'm not sure if it's msaa or ssaa super sampling and taliasing but we're going to start with the maximum visuals 8k video resolution with edx and as again guys the newer video cards of course are going to show higher FPS, the newer uh, generation um, NVIDIA video cards, flagships will show higher FPS and when it comes to NVIDIA RTX 3090 video card, it's going to show two times performance of the NVIDIA uh, Titan RTX. As again, some people calling NVIDIA RTX Titan, but it's incorrect. NVIDIA Titan RTX video cards, proper name for it. And of course, RTX 4090 video card will show 3.7 times as minimum faster than NVIDIA Titan RTX only at the scenarios when the CPU is not bottleneck. So only at the scenarios when the NVIDIA RTX 4090 video card GPU, which is NVIDIA EDA GPU, is utilized at 99-100%. It's going to be 3 time, 3.8 times faster than Titan RTX GPU. Unbelievable. 
So I'm, usually when I'm playing multiplayer, I'm selecting the most of the HP. And as you saw, the HP at the left corner and right corner. So if enemy HP will reach to zero or if it will reach to minus negative value, the enemy lost. If yours will be reaching that, you, you're gonna be a loser in this judgment. So I'm gonna use a basic strategy that I'm using right now, but as again, this is not about the strategy. When I'm gonna dig some nice strategies, I'm gonna try to share with you. Always wanna check what is your opponent is running to keep your eye on the opponent. So it look like he's gonna lose this game, I think. I'm gonna place it something like that. Okay, and um, kinda, we're not sure when his first fair forces will be because first round not showing, it's kinda hidden. You're gonna see it in a few seconds. But after that, you can kinda see where his forces will be and you can be strategic. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna deploy it like this. I'm gonna borrow some money from the previous round and I'm gonna deploy two more guys. So two per round maximum what you can do, right? But check it out. You can you can unlock by this tower ability to deploy one more. And like this, boom. And you can do one more like that. That's it. And there is a timer after 19 seconds, 18, 17 seconds, the game will start. So let's go ahead and start it. Now we can see where his army and now we can set up the traps after first round so if you're gonna be a loser for first three rounds it's fine in this game you're not gonna lose at all the game but you can be more strategic so do not be do not put all your best units in first three rounds this is my uh, idea for you okay so he kinda got this round that's fine he got a lot of those marksman kind of ninja shugans the samurai max all right so this 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 part is important exactly what we're gonna do it's going to be very important i'm gonna do the the air units it's gonna cost us a little bit of money But we're gonna do that, and uh, this this is going to be very important for us. Let's let's put them after, so they're gonna start shooting after, and uh, we can borrow. Let me actually go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm not gonna borrow anything. Let, let's go ahead and do it like that. L let's put this unit for now over here, like that, and then. I'm gonna do some more units. Let's put it actually like this. I'm gonna put another, this kind of UFO. It's called Wrath. I'm gonna put it here as well, kind of bouncing. It's fine if you're gonna lose this round. I don't care about this round. As you can see, my specialist has some folks unlocked with zero money, but not all of them keep that money. You wanna, you, you're gonna learn the specialist. You're gonna learn the units abilities. After about 30 games, you're gonna learn it. It's not so overwhelming, guys. It's easy, trust me. It's not a rocket science. Especially if you played before real time strategies and you enjoy it, this is the game for you. So he's gonna pull this round because he's gonna destroy my tower and he's gonna bring my units to kind of 3 seconds, 4 seconds electroshock and then they're gonna deliver heavy damages, gonna get slow and stuff. It, it's fine. Second round, it's fine. So we lost a couple rounds, it's fine. but. I'm, I'm gonna start pulling and check it out. But right now I have some air units and it's going to be so very hard for him to do anything else after that. And every single unit just like in the great strategies can go to veteran status and you can as again upgrade it to level 3rd and above level 3rd. But level 3rd rank is a max. So I'm gonna get this one. The next, what we're gonna get, um, we're gonna borrow from the next round, 200 points. Okay, I'm gonna put the Wrath U4 right here. Let's put it probably right here, so it's not gonna get the short very easily. Right there. And um, I'm gonna upgrade it with the distance. With the range enhancement, okay. I still have some 200 
150 points um i'm gonna bring two more units the marksman level one one is gonna help us out a little bit like that let's put it probably like that and two like that and i use the up, uh, upgrade of to be able to build one more unit instead of two units i, I brought three units all right so that that's fine third round it's fine three rounds you can lose the three rounds let's see if you can pull it you're gonna lose this one guys i think i'm predicting he's gonna lose this one Yeah, he, we're gonna pull this one, guys. Or maybe not. He, he's about to destroy. Yeah, we will. We will win this one, guys. We're pulling this one. So third round is on us. And now, the next round after the third round, you're gonna receive a lot of damages in terms of the HP if you're gonna lose. So you don't wanna lose after three rounds. Um, orbital bombardment. I really like that one. Let's go ahead and select that one. It's cost hundred for our specialist okay so now now i really like to bring something else guys let me go ahead and have a look now i would like to bring my favorite one which is the overloads it costs a lot of dough, uh, dough to bring it up but we're gonna go ahead and bring it anyways i'm gonna borrow 200 more from the next round and i'm gonna start putting them up first i'm gonna put this one right right over here and then another one right there Okay, after this round, let's go ahead and get going. So we're kind of dominating. As you can see, his HP is 3,400. My HP is 4,198. When we're going, going to go to zero or negative value, the player lost. Okay. So he got 40 seconds to deploy his units. He kind of thinking strategically now. What do you want to do? Okay, he used this one. And then round four, this is the bad one. round. Because there is not too many units right now, and uh, this is not so strategic right now. Round four to be not not to them, so it's kind of okay. But he already used his thing, and he can use after three more rounds again, which probably will never happen to him. But he's gonna going to pull this round, which is it's okay. It's it's, it's gonna deliver me a lot of punch, but not going to be as high a punch as next round. I better use it in next round to win next round to deliver more punch in terms of the HP. As again, this is like a more than chess, guys. Everything in this game completely makes sense, and you want to be very strategic if you want to win. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna win this one, guys. Check it out. He cannot destroy my overload, even with those units that can shoot the air and ground. Some units cannot shoot air and ground. They can only shoot the air, or they can only shoot the ground. All right, so he received a big blow right there. Uh, I'm going to use the Sabar tool. This is that new unit that you cannot make, but you cannot unlock unless you're going to unlock it as wild card. Let me go ahead and unlock it. It's a lot of those units. It's a great idea to unlock them. Let's go ahead and unlock them and uh, put them maybe here. So they're going to eat up his units like that heavily. And then they're going to stop moving. They're going to protect our... our you fall a little bit, so it's gonna deliver uh, receive less damage. We wanna put it kind of at the distance like that, because he's gonna start running with that crazy dude, the tower guys, like that. So all right. So now I'm gonna bring that overload, okay, 400, just like I I told you. We're gonna place it here, like like we already. You can only place once after the round start is done. Unless you're going to use the wild card, you can place more than once the same unit. All right, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to upgrade the overload with the maintenance thing. So it's going to repair itself. Or let's go on Boro. Let's go on Boro. I'm going to do in something else. I'm going to unlock an overload. I'm going to unlock this this one, Mothership. 
produce uh, war uh, warps to join bell every 28 seconds it's going to produce some little ships around it it's going to create those ships going to uh, bring the attention of the enemy so it's going to shoot those ships instead of our overload and it's going to create some damage let's go ahead and have a look Created those warps, those little flying uh, fight ships, but my overload can create those every 28 seconds. I dominated this round, so as you can see, it's all about strategies. So, one more round for this dude, he's 160 points. I'm probably going to give up this round, so he's gonna have more rounds. I'm gonna get the nuke though, and uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna give in it up for you. I'm not gonna say it to him because he's gonna let me keep keep developing. But I, I probably should give it give give it up, give it up to him. Let me go ahead and deploy two more of uh, those guys, and uh, that's it at this point. Let me go ahead and do that. Hopefully, he's gonna win, but it's going to be very dangerous for him this point like that check it out guys he could lose this could be his last game though so I'm not gonna do anything else I'm just gonna unlock those I am recording it over hdking.com or hdking.com on YouTube Google hdking Okay, I'll let him know. This round. So hopefully, he's still building. So I told him that I'm going to give it, give it his up. He's kind of, six seconds, he's kind of trying to do some strategic points here. But let me refresh the average FPS. Literally do not care though. Yeah, th this guy is just dark. dark. It's fine. Those guys, those guys uh, buy a garbage on this game. Pretty bad. That's why he's losing because he doesn't care. Usually, those type of NPCs without ability to analyze. So he's one of them. Use the nuke. As you can see, nuke cannot destroy my tower. The nuke itself, any uh, super weapon cannot destroy the tower. So you already saw the nuke. But it can destroy everybody around it in that area. So he's gonna win this one. But I gave it up to him because this is his last round. So he's gonna dominate me a little bit. And we can go for one more round. I just wanna show you guys the after round 7 and after round 8, round 9. Because round 10 is the maximum what you can have. Um, increase range all, all the units to 12. Yeah, we want that. So it's going to shoot a little bit longer. We want to use that. I'm gonna give it up to him as well. So I'm gonna put a couple of those guys, the Mustangs. So hopefully he's not going to lose. I really have a great strategy with those Mustangs, at least that I'm uh, coming up right now, but hopefully I'm gonna demonstrate it to you. I'm gonna use the this one, which is the level second, automatically every single unit level second for one round. And then I can use the one more Mustang level second, which is better than red one. Blue is better than red one. Okay. I'm going to give it up this round for you. I deployed light. Good luck. Next round, you will die. Okay. So I'm not gonna deploy you come here this round, the next one will. 
So she's doing the electric shock, so she's gonna electric shock my units a little bit, slow them down. Hopefully he's gonna win this one because this is his last game though. We should go to round 9. Come on dude, pull it up. He's not going to pull up this one. He just don't care. And this is what it is. His attitude showing his reality. Come on dude, destroy my... He's not gonna get all those overloads. Those overloads are dangerous. Yeah, he can destroy a couple of them, but he's not going to win over here. He has no chances. Ay ay ay. Come on dude, destroy my overload. Destroy, destroy. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe he will destroy because he got those marksmen, they're dangerous. But, come on, destroy. Destroy the overload, please, man. No, I don't think so. The, yeah. Nope, no chances. Come on, dude. Yeah, see like those little flying objects? Yeah, he, he, he's a loser. Yeah, no chances. I'm a winner, guys. Sorry. But you saw the average FPS. So 24, 25, and round 8. So this is pretty much how it's going to go. This guy got what, what he deserved. And um, yeah, pretty much I dominated. I save it just in case so we can play it later on. Uh, guys, yeah, so you saw everything what you need to see, right? I'm probably going to go ahead and purchase. Let me show you how to use the store. So this is what you're earning. You're earning those in-game credits and all kind of things that you can use up, and which is nice. I really like the way they did it. To the store. Let's jump back into the store. And just because you're watching this 8K video resolution, I'm going to go ahead and purchase. I really like that animated icon. Avatar, 1,020 points. So I have like 1748. Let's go ahead and purchase that. This is like a two star icon. You can use the real money to purchase it or in game currency. That, as again, as you saw, you're earning throughout the progress. All right, so we, we earned that. And let me collect those six points that already mine. Nice. 734 total that I have. That's beautiful. And now I can use that avatar in the future. I really like this avatar. It's looking like me, actually. Let me purchase this dude as well. Or maybe, uh, how many days? 16 hours. Maybe I'm going to purchase it later on when I'm going to record in uh, 10k video resolution. I'm going to purchase it later on. Alright guys. Alright, so pretty much that's it. Also about the servers. They have all kind of different servers, which is I like. They have Ukrainian, Danish, Dutch. All kind of those servers. This is the 501 division. All kind of different divisions. And to switch the division, just click on it and you can play it. You can switch. Which is nice. I'm 501 division. Go ahead and join me, guys. And let's play together. Uh, if you Machabellum fan, go ahead and join me. Let's go ahead and play together. Maybe let's go ahead and uh, form a clan or something like that. So, as again, uh, this part was uh, demonstrated. Let me go ahead and show you one more game. But I'm going to show you to without the anti-aliasing. So 8K video resolution without the anti-aliasing, maximum visuals. Let me go ahead and reboot the game real quick. One more game, just an extra bonus for you. I just want to show you the all kind of zoom in, zoom out cameras now. First, I'm going to show you a little bit of the maximum zoom on the camera, zoom out. And then I'm going to zoom in and uh, rotate a little bit and get all the way to the unit uh, camera view like the units can see. And you're going to see how beautiful the battlefield. Okay. Let's go ahead and start it. This is going to be the last game. It's already a night time, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to support me. I'm really looking for your support as best as you can. Smash that like button. Please watch my ads. And I'm going to collect those extra pennies. And uh, I'm doing a lot of games giveaways, hardware giveaways over my UGDKing.com YouTube channel, official YouTube channel. And um, I'm going to give it back to the community, back to this YouTube channel gonna buy myself some more games so I'm gonna review more games more newer hardware to review as well as give you some giveaways so don't forget the thumbs up so pretty much this is i9 9900k running an average maxed out I can push it to 5.2 gigahertz it's only stable in the games uh, not in all the games sometimes it's crashing in some of the games but 5.1 gigahertz is stable I can also squish my system RAM DDR4 to 3300 megahertz it's going to be even faster that you saw the bandwidth will be increased by 2 gigabytes per second all the way to 50 gigabytes per second or 50 megabytes per second read write and copy 
and latency will go like 42 nanoseconds, but not in all games it's stable. But this is the stable scenario for the Intel 9 generation or Intel 9000 series CPUs. If you're smart, you're building your server computers from the used parts from kind of two, three years old. This is the best way to do it and saving a lot of money. Uh, yeah, and you're watching my YouTube channel for PC builders, uh, technologists, uh, PC hardware enthusiast. This is also a great channel for you to watch. So without any anti-aliasing, guys, all right? So you saw the anti-aliasing was great, 25, but usually like 30 FPS. And it doesn't matter, one versus one or two versus two. As you saw, the FPS was almost the same, plus minus two FPS, which is a great game optimization. As again, everything makes sense in this game. Those game developers like an angels. Uh, they playing their games. They doing exactly what the gamer want to see. At the same time, they're doing properly as a game developers, software developers, and um, they, 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 their level of their intelligence is on another level that you cannot see in today's game development, which is amazing. Highly recommend this game. Five out of five. Okay, in 2024, and this game as again in my best games for PC as real time strategies. All right, guys, let's go ahead and play that one versus one 8K video resolution, maximum visuals without the anti aliasing. Let's go ahead and have a look. You can create as again with your own rules the server or I'm just gonna join somebody else. You can spectate and you can bet some tickets. You can win some credits. Like this uh, this this game five people spectating and they're baiting some tickets as you can see. So it's like a casino, like a baiting system. I really like that developers implement something like this. This is something new and uh, the whole um genre uh, of this real-time strategy is a little bit different and it's unique and as again uh, we're gonna see more games like this and this genre I'll really dig in it and um, we're gonna see more like that and who knows maybe I am as a game developer gonna develop something like that you never know my coffee guys I'm finished my coffee I gotta get to the kitchen but I don't wanna miss any action I will try to refill And every single round, I'm going to go ahead and uh, refresh the average FPS for you. This is how games look like when you're going to look at the first person shooter eyes in the camera of the, those units. So, first thing first, what I like to do, I like to select the people with the most units, but also you want to keep attention to the specialist. Every single specialist has his own abilities. I like 5200 HP. So I can survive longer. I have I can survive longer rounds. But as again, it depends what kind of specialist he gonna play. Because even with the much a lot of HP, you can lose very quickly. All right, let's go ahead and see what he got. He got some air. Okay. So those air are danger. So let's go ahead and set something like that, like that. I don't want to set the units together because he can use the nukes as you saw or he can use the rocket. There is a special rocket that he can use and in this way he can destroy my units quick, uh, easy, nice and easy. I want to make sure that this is not going to happen. So I, I want to keep a distance of about two units between the units. Like those type of rockets. Century missile. Uh, I'm going to show it to you throughout this gameplay. So I'm going to bore from around and what I'm going to do I'm going to put the Mustangs I'm going to show you some strategy with the Mustangs I have a beautiful strategy with the Mustangs as again we're not sure where his units will be first which is fine oh this this specialist doesn't have a lot of oh my god I did a mistake alright it's okay this specialist doesn't have um, I did a mistake. I used up the. I, I didn't have enough coins. You want to see the credits. Alright, let's go ahead and get going. Let's see where his unit is. So, as again, first round, going to show us his unit so we can stop the tra uh, traps right here with this missile. He's going to shoot whatever is approaching to its radius. You're going to see it. It's not in the radius yet. And it's gonna destroy, if the units will be together, it's gonna destroy many units together. You're gonna see it right now, check it out. Boom, see like it was the distance less than two units between of them. That's why I'm keeping the distance. 
more than two units or just two units as minimum. He gonna pull up this round. Maybe not. I'm gonna slow him down right now. But yeah, this this unit cannot shoot the air, so this round it's okay. The lost, as you already learned, it's not a big deal. Three first rounds. So up, up, uh, obtain uh, additional supplies per round. Really like that. Able immediately recruit those. I really like that. Level third. It's gonna save me uh, some. Let's go ahead and do that actually. But I'm not gonna use that a lot. But uh, maybe 50 additional per round is going to be nice. 500. Yeah, let's go ahead and use this supply because I'm not gonna use Fangs. Fangs is great if you up to your strategies. Again, you gotta be so strategic here. So what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna deploy more Mustangs. And I'm gonna borrow from the next round 200. We're gonna put the Mustangs always boring. I really like like the ability when developers created for us the ability to borrow. Let's put the Mustangs there and on the other side I'm gonna develop that arc link arc lights but I don't have the rounds for it to, to put it here so it's gonna destroy those little guys that call crawlers. But let me show you how to use the sentry missile right here put it in the middle it's going to destroy everything that is going to be in that radius and it's going to probably going to destroy those all of those little guys and maybe even uh but uh maybe even the airplanes from the blow let's go ahead and have a look unlock i can unlock something for free yeah let's go ahead and unlock marksman's for free here we go and deploy let's go ahead and have a look Alright, he deployed those. First time he's deploying them, I can destroy them. They kind of frozen for three seconds. So look like this round. This round will be ours, guys. Mustangs will kill his air because Ma Mustangs weak against the air and against the ground targets. This is the best units, Mustangs. I'm gonna show you a lot of strategies with them. Right now I'm working on the best strategy. So we'll pull this round for sure. So second round, he d he received more damage than I did. Third one will be even more than. So, but first three is kind of doesn't matter. As again, it depends what kind of. Okay, immediately obtain three squad level second marksman. Yes, I want to do that. They're gonna shoot, or five level five. Level five, it's already level three at orange level three, but two more levels on top. But I wanna have the three of those. I'm gonna utilize them pretty nicely. Let me go ahead and put them some somewhere like that. And those probably put somewhere like that. On the back, so they're gonna kinda keep going at those those crawlers because the crawlers are coming. Remember? Those crawlers. So we wanna make sure that we can destroy those crawlers nice and neatly, right? Like, like that. And one more, one more uh maybe after just in case so it, it, it's gonna decide what it's gonna do it's a good against the air and ground units they can be upgraded so one more thing I want to deploy the Mustangs okay oops oops and Mustangs we're gonna put it somewhere here just for, against the crawlers real quick but at the distance so they're not gonna be easy to destroy it. And another one right here. We're gonna use those Mustangs. I'm gonna upgrade them. So one more. We're gonna set up the trap for him. Like like this. Boom. You don't wanna set up like I did it for the first time. Because if you're gonna do it, let me go ahead and unlock myself the crawl crawler. It's free. So we can use it next round at least. Um, because he can put the shield. We're gonna and uh, it's going to be a bad idea. But he didn't pull a shield. So we're gonna destroy those colors. Check it out with the missile. All kind of different traps, all kind of different strategies. As again, this is the best. This is much better than real time strategy with the bases because there is no tank crashes for those people who knows how to build fast and for cheers that are always playing the same strategy. This is going to be a great, great uh, game. And uh, guys, this game is ready for the eSport. I highly recommend this. 5 out of 5 by UGD King. This is my review. And I, I hope I, I gave you a nice preview, so don't forget to smash the like button for support. So I'm going to do more about the games in the future, my thoughts. I really like that. Incredible bomb. This is a very valuable thing right here. We're going to unlock that. So now, 
Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unlock my favorite units which will be overloads. For this specialist it costs 200 in-game gold credit coins, but that's fine, we're gonna unlock that. Next I'm going to upgrade my, uh, those units and I'm gonna give them armor pacing bullets, damage by 50. Okay, so it's gonna be more dam uh, dangerous. And I'm gonna put one more right here like I told you guys and we we're set to go over here like that and uh, we're gonna set up against them like that a trap hopefully he's gonna pull the field here because it's gonna stop our rocket until it's gonna destroy the field we, we're not gonna use the incredible bomb we're gonna keep it for longer he also used some traps getting smarter Strategic as you can see. Let's go out and have a look. Ah! Single rocket pull a lot of our units down, guys. But is he gonna have any chances to win? Yeah, probably. This is gonna be this round, I think, guys. I can deploy the shield next time and keep my units alive. Yeah, let I'm I'm gonna do it next time. As you can see I receive a lot of damage was round four the higher round the more damage so those units fire badgers again this is what they introduce you cannot build that but if you're gonna unlock it then you can build it um i can use that or let me use this immediately deploy let me use those and we're gonna use those a lot so let me go ahead and use that i'm gonna help help my guys out over here and then we're gonna send them air units he doesn't have a lot of units against the air you want to see what the opponent has and uh, he doesn't have a lot of air units and uh, next thing I'm gonna do the overloads so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and protect our main base right here the main tower so the overload is going to go like that okay just in case okay 200 points I, I can borrow let me borrow 200 more 400 total and what I can do, I can do an overload, I can upgrade and those little wasps, those little ships, every 28 seconds, this is nice. Now, let me go ahead and set the uh, set up for them with the rockets, one, and over here two, a lot of damage. Too bad that I cannot do one more, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and deploy this guy for free, unlock zero. That's it, I'm done. We have at least two rounds to lose. He got one round to lose or maybe two more. But we can lose three rounds for sure. So he kinda did his works, but I have good ETR. Those Mustangs trade against the uh, ground and against the air as again. And when they are graded, they're going to be unstoppable. I'm gonna show it to you guys. This 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 round will be on us, guys. Check it out. I'm gonna destroy his tower and then I'm gonna nail him like he never. He. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, he's gonna stop us a little bit, but just for a little bit. But he only have two airplanes that can shoot the air targets. Those scorpions cannot shoot the air targets. They're powerful against the ground, but they cannot shoot the air uh, the air targets. So we're gonna pull this round for sure. This is our round. Come on, still alive, dude. Still alive. Yep, he got maybe two more rounds. But I have like three rounds for sure. For every giant, we're gonna receive 100 gold. 50, actually. I really like that. Let's go ahead and select that. So, uh, I probably should gi give him up a little bit, shall we? Let's go ahead and uh, put more Mustangs. I'm gonna give him up a little bit. I'm gonna deploy a light this time. Okay, let me deploy the Mustangs and uh, I'm gonna tell him, look, I'm recording. And um, let me go ahead and borrow. Right here, I have everything what I want to have. And I'm going to unlock for one more. One more, so I can do three units. Let's go, let me go ahead and put over here some more Mustangs, like that. And now. I can upgrade them too, right? Maybe not Mustangs, let me maybe let me upgrade those. Repair, so they're gonna repair. They can 
do the warps, repair, and the next one I'm gonna do the distance, and that's it. We're gonna be Gucci. So next thing, I want him to win, so I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna say I'm going to give up this round. I deployed light. Enjoy. All right. Next, we're gonna uh, do the. Uh, let me actually use the artillery. So unlock the artillery for those 50. So we're gonna face the 50. Artillery is great against the ground units only. Doesn't shoot great against the air at all. And I believe it cannot upgrade it to the air at all. But it's nice to have a ball card in the future that you can equip the artillery to, to shoot the air. Just as a wild card. It's nice to, to have something like that. For the developers. If developers are watching, this is my idea for you guys. Look like we're gonna dominate him, guys. He does, don't have any more units left against the air. So I dominated him. Oh, come on, stay alive, stay alive. He, he got one round. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pull the acid for the future, it's a nice bomb. And uh, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just going to unlock this. And uh, I'm not going to deploy. I'm giving this round for you. Win it or this is your last. I'm recording it. You can watch it. Google for UHD King or UHD King YouTube channel. In AK UHD. Record it. Okay? So we didn't do anything. I'm not gonna waste anything. I'm not gonna upgrade, we're just gonna keep the coins. I wanna keep it to the round nine. I wanna show you as a benchmark, the purpose. So because this video is multi, multi value, I don't care if I'm gonna win or not, to be honestly, throughout this video, this is not my best gameplay, even if I'm dominating online. This is the real person, by the way, real player. Rack, rack, the other dude, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. NPC buy a garbage, I don't care, I don't care, without the ability to analyze, yeah. You don't want to be people like that. That's why you want to play this type of games. That dude is playing this type of game. So he one day he's going to be care. So he's already on the way. That's how you want to be on the way. You set up some set up. Come on, dude. I didn't deploy any units. If you're going to lose this one, he shot at me. It should be changed immediately. Come on, dude. Look like he's gonna lose this one. No, he's gonna dominate this one. I will give up next round too. So next round we're gonna give him up. As well. I'm just gonna collect the points. Super heavy armor. Yeah, we're gonna use this. This is a nice upgrade. I have a lot of those, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that on on the big units. Look at this four factor. That unit is huge. I'm not gonna deploy anything else. Or probably should I deploy some? I'm I'm just curious because he kind of dominate me. But if I'm gonna deploy, there is a possibility he's gonna lose. Or oh, actually, no, we're gonna deploy, guys. We're about to lose actually if we're not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going to deploy because it's already one thirteen hundred. He's grabbing a lot of points from us. So. We are actually going to use those big guys. And uh, I'm going to put them like that. Okay. So they kind of going to like that. And uh, we're going to do one more real quick. We're going to boil. We're going to get that. And uh, we're going to uh, use uh, upgrade for the Mustangs at distance. So they're gonna shoot at high distance. That's going to be crazy like that. And I can do one more unit and I'm gonna pull those guys right here. Those are dangerous. The crawlers, we're gonna 
get them like after the Mustangs, all right? That's it. Let, and let's go ahead and put those upgrades. So I'm not gonna lose this one like that. And uh, this one like that. That's it, guys. And let's let's equip this one, super armor. So I'm not gonna get waste. You can do ah run out of time. It's kinda hard to play, but as again I told you the idea, right? Look at this, he's using a lot of those rockets. He's with the shields. We can lose this round, but as again, this is about the beach. This is the probably you, you will never last after the round nine at all guys, so this is probably you're going to be you're gonna dominate this one though. I don't have any more units that can shoot the air. He got the air units, so he's gonna dominate this. If I'm gonna survive this round, which probably I'm not, then the next round we're gonna kill him, but I don't think I'm going to survive this round. Yep, I didn't survive this round. But as again, I, I gave up two rounds for this dude. Y you saw that. So. Alright, guys. Uh, so you saw that one. He dominated. I just. Uh, it, I probably shouldn't give up a second game, but as again, uh, the purpose of this is to show you round 8. Most of the games will be round 8, and you saw the FPS was like 25 FPS average. So you saw just like 2 versus 2 or 1 versus 1, it's just the same FPS. That means the game is very well optimized, the whole game engine and the game and the whole idea that they created. And it doesn't matter what kind of map you're running, it always will be the same, which is a nice thing. Good, good, good. So he pulled this one on us. Well, that, that's fine. That's fine. Return to lobby. As again, if I would be care about dominating, I, I wouldn't give him any chance at all. Alright guys, so you saw everything what you need to see. I showed you without the anti-aliasing, within the anti-aliasing, one versus one, including the two versus two. 8K UHD video resolution that was 7608 pixels by 4320 pixels on a single Titan RTX video card by NVIDIA and Intel Core i9 9900K processor squeezed to the maximum possible overclock running in home safe environment. So uh, the gaming flagship system from 2018 was shared with you. It was the gaming flagship system all the way till 2021 when in, uh, Intel released the uh, 11 generation CPU because 10 generation CPU is a little bit slower when it's running stock because it's only 3-4% faster than 10 generation Intel CPU than 9 generation Intel CPU that i9 10900K by 4% faster but when it's running stock and my i9 9900K overclocked to this type of scenario from 3.6 to 5.1 I'm beating that but 11 uh, generation Intel CPU will be faster even if my CPU will be overclocked when it's running stock 11,900k and of course 12 generation CPU will be faster by about 10% that my CPU is overclocked which is i9 12,900k and 13 generation or 14 generation CPUs that is available in 2024 will be faster about solid 15% as minimum than my CPU overclock while they're running stock by, but by average, by about 20% higher FPS, keep that in mind. It's going to squeeze my NVIDIA CUDA cores uh, on that Turing GPU architecture by NVIDIA Titan RTX video card flagship completely at 100%, even at 4K video resolution. Hopefully, guys, this video was useful, provided multiple angles, no matter what kind of angle you're looking at it. Don't forget to smash that like button for my time, support, a lot of time, money, energy is invested. It's already 2 a.m. probably, I gotta go to bed. As again, everything was explained to you. Hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this video. In the future, I'm going to uh, demonstrate 4K, 5K, 6K, 7K, 10K, 12K, uh, 16K video resolution in Mechabellum game. Uh, I'm going to put the related videos in the video comments or in the video description. Go ahead and check it out, including all kind of different newer hardware, newer video cards, newer processors. So we'll be testing this game. 
this is one of my favorite real-time strategies now I put it on my list so I'm gonna use it as a benchmark in the future especially when we're talking 8k video resolution and above it's nice to see especially in 16k video resolution everything will be looking like unbelievable well every single of that unit will have every single pixel of that texture it's going to look absolutely amazing so as again guys my name is UGD King aka I play 4k aka I play 8k aka I play 16k throughout this video you find out why and um, have a good morning good day good afternoon subscribe I invite you to subscribe smash that like button and I will see you guys till the next time have a good day